picture looks a little familiar to you, it probably should. It's very similar to last week's photo and that's intentional and I'm unapologetic about that. When I took last week's photo, I, I liked it so much, I thought, I wonder if I can do that again with a different flower. And this was taken about, I don't know, one minute after that previous photo. I just liked the way the light was coming through the trees and I, I wanted to see if there's another flower that I could create that same effect with. And sure enough, here we are. I, I've got the technical name for this flower as the title of this photo, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So just a yellow flower, I guess is what I'll call it. And I, there's nothing new or groundbreaking here, just another chance to practice that same technique. What I played around with here a little bit more though was the aperture and my distance to the subject. You'll notice if you compare this one to last week's, the background balls are smaller in size and the subject is a bit larger. That's because I shot with a slightly smaller aperture, I think 2.8 on this one. And I'm pretty sure last week's was maybe 2.4 or 2. I don't think I went all the way to 1.8. Uh, because I, I think the foreground, the, the depth of field would have been a little too shallow, but I should go back and check. Anyway, I used a slightly smaller aperture and I actually did shoot uh, some versions of this at 1.8, but I didn't like them as much because the overall sharpness was not quite what I was hoping for and the depth of field was too shallow. So I shot this at a slightly smaller aperture and I moved a little farther away from my subject and I framed it intentionally with the, the bright spots of light on either the left and the right hand side. So it would be kind of in this, the, this dark spot in the middle. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, there's nothing, this isn't going to change the world or anything. This just, if for me, it was another chance to practice the same technique that I just had used on that other flower because it's a fun thing to do. You don't get a shot like this except uh, just in the morning or in the evening if you're going for uh, light poking through trees. So the conditions have to be right, not to mention you need a flower to, to photograph or something else like that. It's just a, if you get a chance to shoot a photo like this, I, I encourage you to try it and it's not, it's not special. Like anyone can take this photo, but you have to be able to see things from a different perspective, like in the morning or in the evening as the sun is rising or setting and being able to go down low on the ground and look through something else, like coming, like the light coming through trees. So it, these are fun pictures to take and you can't really go wrong with it. And I, you know, it's just one of these pictures I, I enjoy having and I'm, I'm proud to say that I have shot this.